whenever they see me outside, I'm, I'm, I'm being harassed. Like if I'm, a, I'm by myself with kids and I would be chased and followed. And for a person to try to value that based upon your race, it's bad. It's, it's, it's trauma. This Colorado rancher has experienced overwhelming amounts of racism for more than two years. My full name is Courtney Wayne Mallory. Uh, I go by CW. I'm a farmer slash rancher out in East Colorado. CW Mallory and his family have been farming in East Colorado since August 2020. They moved after a hurricane destroyed the Houston ranch that CW was working on. He looked around in, in different states, you know, across the whole state, you know, kind of settled here in Colorado. Like I say, it, it chose me. I really didn't choose it, but I mean, it was something that pulled me to it. It was just freedom. It was Freedom Freedom Acres Ranch, Freedom Acres Ranch, you know, that's kind of where we started. However, instead of being able to live and work in peace, Mallory's family has endured frequent aggressive threats from the community. Well, the, the harassment initially began when I, when I first uh, procured the property. I was approached by an individual that stated that the property was theirs. And I had to tell them that, you know, no, I was the new owner here, that this is my property. They then proceeded to tell me that they shoot dogs and whatnot. And I was like, well, you know, I'm the new owner here. I own dogs, don't shoot my dogs. That, that was the initial start of it from there. And uh, people, you know, hanging around, uh, hanging around the fence line uh, on the property, taking and cutting my fence line and stuff like that, stealing water, throwing the trash, theft of utilities, pretty much, and uh, dumping my property became a dump ground. In fact, we still be strong and we go out and we contribute to the community. We feed them. We go out and we do the things that people wouldn't do for us and we still get criticized for it, you know? Even some of the people we help are like turning their backs. And, and it's, like I said, it's trauma. According to CW, the following and harassment hasn't stopped, despite the public attention Mallory's story has drawn. The support has the support, gotten better. Yes. The support has been amazing. The support has been amazing. The more we get, the harder they are stalking, fighting, terrorizing, being hateful, and being racist to try to get us to a point, I guess, we're all alone again, so they can continue to terrorize us. I mean, we've had maybe 50 people here within the last few weeks, and each one of them is so unfortunate, but we, we are so thankful that they're still calm. But each one of them had an experience with being stalked and terrorized by someone in the community. It's like we're in a war zone. You can't rely on on people in authority to protect and serve, you know, us and be fair with us. To be hunted, um, not only from, from locals who can't understand that Black people can own land, but from Sheriff's Department, I think is the most hurtful, especially as someone who took an oath. Facing frequent threats and racism from the local community, the Mallory's sought help from the local police. However, their situation only got worse. They come, it's just repeated, can't protect our property. Someone jumped the fence and they were at the front door and I was naked and I did what I'm trained to do to protect myself and the land. And ultimately this person was let go because they were white and I was ultimately charged simply for protecting myself. When someone had blocked us in the driveway, falsely imprisoned me, I was naked, they recorded me. They just failed me, you know what I mean? And just continued to fail me, you know what I mean? Like I, was, like I was saying, like my life doesn't matter, like what I'm saying to you doesn't matter. Per the Denver Post, local law enforcement has reportedly received more than 170 calls related to the Mallory's over the past two years. CW and his family claim these calls are rooted in racism. As of April 2023, the El Paso County Sheriff's Office has not arrested anyone for the harassment the Mallory's have experienced. On February 6, CW was arrested and detained for two days. It's a Monday, Monday morning, just feeding the animals, doing stuff on the ranch. 
getting materials and um, I don't know, they just said that they were taking him. He had a warrant for his arrest for felony stalking is what they said. And there was a $2,000 bond. Okay. Are I'm you guys going to be holding him and making yeah. sure he's okay? Yes, ma'am. So I'm okay. sure Stay control. That's my contact info. Okay. He's going to be going in there. He'll be processed. Okay. There is a bond on the warrant. What's so the bond? Bond out. Uh, I believe it's 2000 They allege that CW was a threat to the community. Uh, the gentleman that fed the community, that just worked with animals and farmed while Black, had nothing more than a speeding ticket. They allege that he was a threat to the community. And so they increased the bond amount to $6,000. Let your followers know how you're doing right now. I'm, I'm, I'm not well. Okay. This is part of it. Mm -hmm. This is part of the, the, the hate crimes and the false accusations that officers makes i thought my life was gonna end you know what i mean through some mysterious some some weird circumstances you know because i could because they threatened to hang lynch me block me in here set me on fire during a press conference held by the el paso county sheriff's office on february 14th sheriff joseph roybal confirmed that stalking was one of three charges listed on cw's warrant and called the previous online reports misinformation and mischaracterization. I recognize we are human and we can always strive to do better. To that point, approximately a week ago, I directed my staff to review all reports taken and ensure we have done everything we should have during our response to these calls. This review found two events where we as an office could have done more during our investigation. CW is calling for an official investigation into the link between hate crimes and the sheriff's office. He believes investigating the department would help combat the harassment. I feel like if this is America and I pay taxes and I am funding these the police departments, funding these roads and things like that, I should be able to live anywhere in the United States or anywhere in the world. The whole point of Freedom Makers Ranch was to teach the next generation of farming, but also for our family to see. We, we all come from an inner city, so we've never seen this amount of acreage, much less owned by young black uh, people. And so having this, when representation matters, it's important to every black and brown boy and girl in this United States to, to, that's watching, because now we're on social media and they are watching. And so they're watching what we do and we have to set an example. And the example is just, it's not to run. Give, giving up is not an option. Giving up is not an option.